the young one have come in to this little area as well and they should do the exact same thing and walk right past us now we're going to keep very quiet as they do and you guys can listen to the sounds of these dailies coming past it really is quite spectacular she might stop for a little feed first so as she starts to move our way i will start to keep quiet in order to not disturb her too much but she should theoretically follow the same path which will be around the bend and then in front of us but look at the little one this is just too epic it gets on a walk like I say we've got a little baby Ellie that's busy trying to learn how to use its trunk look how it's trying to pick up the little branches isn't that cool well Rachel yes I mean they have got sensory cells in their feet and even though they're babies they can still pick up potential danger around them but their mother will be far more susceptible to it and defend that little one as well as even the older calf that older calf will also come to the aid of this little one and so it's more up to them than it is the baby to detect danger around them but yes it does have the sensory ability to pick those up and to be able to do what it needs to do to stay nice and safe but look at this one digging for roots now that early they sub adult if you look along its tummy you'll notice that there is actually a little abscess that he's got on its tummy at the moment. Hello, little one. Look, the little one is sniffing us. What's she doing? Hello. I don't think it knows what to make of us on this mound. Isn't that just the cutest thing? That is absolutely awesome. We're so, so spoiled. Now, yeah, they're going to come around, so I'm going to stay nice and quiet. Looks like Mom maybe have found, has found another root that she wants to actually eat. And so she's just stopped a little bit. The baby will be fairly mo mobile. The baby you'll see will move quite a bit, and that's because... It obviously can't feed the same way the adults can, and so it's a little bit more kind of nervous. What are you doing, little one? How cute is that? That is as cute as it gets, and like I say, all of this on foot is very, very, very special. We are being spoiled more than I can even tell you. This has got to rank as probably one of my best elephant on foot experiences that I've ever had and I've been fortunate in that I've had a lot in many parts of Africa. This is seriously one of the most amazing experiences, particularly if that female comes past. So Zephyr, you say, are oh, so cute. It is very, very cute. Look at that. Hello, little one. You're very cute. Now, not as wrinkly as one of our other ones that we saw the other day, but... Okay, here comes Mom. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Right now, because this is so special, we are going to take this to a wider audience. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to South Africa. As you can see we've got a herd of elephants, a mom and her baby that are straight across from us. We're out on a bushwalk and we've managed to bump into these guys and get the most incredible view of them as they're walking across the bank. It is seriously, seriously special. We are coming to you live, like I said, and that means you can interact with us. So you can post any questions you have in the comments section below. But there's a little baby that's charging around now. Mom is just making sure little one is safe. There's a bit of a wind that's just started to swirl, 
So you see now she's picked up our scent and she's just looking in our direction, just making sure that her baby is nice and safe and making sure that it gets away. Well, Mike, we are trying to make friends. Obviously, we've got to be a little bit careful with Ellie's because Ellie's can be seriously, seriously dangerous animals on foot. Um, but luckily, what we've got is we've got ourselves into a really nice position where we kind of on a very steep bank where the Ellie's won't be able to get to us. Um, there's a nice bit of space between us and them. And so at this stage, everything is okay and we can make friends. But she seems to have relaxed now. She might have caught a bit of a scent and, and then tried to kind of shift her baby off a little bit. But now that she's digging for roots and feeding, that is a sign that she's completely kind of comfortable with what's going on. She wouldn't stop and feed with her baby so close if she was worried. Now, sorry, Emma, if you can just repeat that for me. So Lisa, she is a big mama. She's not the oldest female that I've seen out here, nor the biggest. But when you are standing less than 10 meters from her, or sitting, should I say, less than 10 meters from her, she is massive and she certainly has an intimidating presence. And you would not want to cross a mother elephant. There's one thing about Ellie's. They might be intelligent, but they are also highly, highly protective of their little ones. They will do everything that they can in order to try and keep their babies safe. And that often means that they'll front up and be quite kind of a aggressive to a threat. Luckily, like I say, for us, we're not a threat in any way. We're not being threatening in our behavior. We're sitting here. We've got our voices quite low. We're making a very low profile by sitting up against a mound and up against a bank where it's not really a profile that she's picking up. And the wind, unfortunately, every now and then swirls because we've had a bit of a storm this afternoon. And that means that it's a bit tricky because she sometimes is picking up our scent more than anything else. But she's relaxed completely now. I mean, look at how she's digging out that root. Isn't that incredible? Now, these kind of sightings generally are kind of reserved for being in a vehicle but for some reason we've been so spoiled this afternoon by getting as close as we've managed to get and now we've even got a bit of light breaking through into the sort of bush and it's really kind of highlighting this Ellie. Now Liz you say so lucky you wish that you could be on foot with us. Well Liz we are incredibly lucky to be able to do this it's one of those very fortunate things as being out here as a guide and probably one of my best parts of my job is being able to kind of share this with all of you it really is a magical thing to be on foot with with ellie's and i hope that one day liz wherever you may be that you are get an opportunity to come out and go on a guided experience where you can potentially view ellie's on foot there's very few things like as well there's a little dike in the background behind the ellie there's a little small antelope that's moving around as well so i don't know if it's visible but i just saw it kind of bounce out but I'm hoping the little baby Ellie comes back towards mom it is quite old already it's not suckling by the looks of things anymore well she certainly is not producing vast amounts of milk which means that it's probably spending most of its time trying to actually forage for food now and it's being a bit shy because it's hiding itself behind a sort of fallen over tree but it is the cutest little Ellie ever it really is very very cute we had it just now much closer to us and it was kind of rubbing up on trees and trying to use its trunk and generally just being a baby elephant which typically is a lot of life a lot of energy and an overload of cuteness so Melaine, she is keeping an eye on us. She's just aware that there's something opposite her, but she doesn't know quite what it is. And because we're not threatening, she's happy just to feed like that. Her baby is not too close to us. And so she's okay to have, you know, the little one there and for her to feed in this area. And she's just making sure that there's not too much movement across from her that she needs to worry about. So at this stage, all is okay. Her general body language is very good. Like I say, an elephant, when it's stressed, will not eat. Um, it will be very focused on you. Her head would be raised, her ears would be out to make herself more impressive and bigger. And you'd find her tail would be dead straight. At the moment, her tail is relaxed. It's just kind of flopping in the breeze every now and then. It's lifting because I think she's about to go to the toilet at the moment. And then you'll find that her ears are quite relaxed. She's flapping them. And like I said, they're still feeding. So her behavior for now is absolutely fine. She is kind of keeping a close look on what's going on. But she's not too stressed about us at all. I just wish her little one would come out because like I say it is the cutest thing we've got another Ellie that's actually just come out on the right hand side of us he walked past us a little bit earlier we had a little bull a young bull elephant that was a teenager he walked out and he kind of decided to come say hello and he's just kind of gone down across the river bank there but this has been a phenomenal afternoon with our eddies we really have been fortunate to be this close to eddies on foot is probably got to be one of the biggest highlights of our guiding careers and so very
very, very, very special. But that's all we're going to be doing for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. And if you want to carry on and see what happens with our Ellie's while we sit here, you can Google Safari Live. But until next time, from myself and Seb, it's been an absolute pleasure.